I'm Lane Bass. I was the former CEO of Palo Alto Networks, and we've been here in the Santa Cruz, California area for about 15 years. I think I went along uh, for the last 30 years working hard, traveling the world, focusing so much time on business that truthfully I would comment to my family that I was Superman. So there was nothing unusual uh, I felt about my own health. In fact, it came as a big surprise when I found out I actually was sick. My local doctor called me up and says, I think you have this pokey leukemia that is really chronic and you don't have to worry about. But all I heard was leukemia. And I wasn't going to accept it. Our range of emotion was from, oh my gosh, I may only have six months left, to, okay, well maybe this is something that can be managed. My first reaction is like, okay, what are we going to do? We got to beat this. We got to find out all the information we can. I was able to find a podcast that Tom Lochran did, which talked to the disease that he had discovered some 25 years earlier. And almost immediately I said to my wife, that's the guy we have to talk to. When Dr. Lochran was sharing with us all the research and information and things that they were working on made us really feel comfortable and really put us at ease. Not only I had done the research and we knew, but now we were with Dr. Lochran and um, he was just, just such a great guy, so yeah, it's, easy it's, going. It was so easy to sit down and chat with him. It was very, very comforting. Yeah, somewhat, you know, when you go to see a, a rock star, but in this case, it's a medical rock star. <laughs> His commitment to the research really has him welcoming any patients that are interested in coming to the university. To him, People visiting the university who may have this disease or may who think they have this disease only increases his visibility and understanding of what's out there. If you keep in mind it's an orphan disease, you have only so large of a sample pool of people that can help you get those answers. Uh, that's why uh, when I thought about making a contribution, I directly went to the question and the research behind, can we find out more about the genetic composition of the people who have this, including myself. I started getting a little more nervous when he actually, his numbers started dropping a lot sooner than we expected. The big indicator in this disease can be an impact on a thing called neutrophil. The neutrophil count is really what fights a lot of uh, bacterial disease, and it's when my count dropped to what's considered to be a serious level. It's usually below 500. When you go below 500, you're much more susceptible. I think I bottomed out at about 100. In many cases, the treatment is very simple and straightforward and requires only an oral pill. Today, I feel wonderful. There's not anything that I'm doing differently than I ever did. In fact, I, I think I'm intentionally doing more. Being sick isn't something that needs to impact your lifestyle, and you can even expand from what you've done to take on other things. We continue to support this even though Lane's situation is so under control is because it's not really just about us. The idea to help the University of Virginia was less about me, more about all of the people that might have this. I encourage that people who might have this or suspect they have this or even their doctors, the resources now that are available again on the University of Virginia website uh, are substantial. Uh, it, at minimum, should uh, signal to the patient or, or the doctor that um, uh, there is a, an avenue to explore. The number one thing that gives me comfort is to know that it's manageable.